nervous system. Would you think it's a curious question to know? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Myself Dr. Surbhi Sahani, the founder and the host of the channel Dr. Surbhi Sahani Dental Series and Medical Videos. Today we are going to talk about this curious question only that how drug will affect our nervous system. So without wasting time, let's get started. If you are new on my channel, do subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. The importance of bell icon is that you can have the notification of my upcoming videos. If we talked about the nervous system, the nervous system is divided into two parts. One is the central nervous system and the second one is the peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system is further divided into two parts. One is the motor and second one is the sensory. The motor part is further divided into two parts. That is the somatic and autonomic. So here come the rule of two. That first the nervous system is divided into two parts as CNS and PNS. After that the PNS is further divided into two parts as motor or sensory. Then the motor part is further divided into two parts as somatic and autonomic. So it's all about the rule of two to remember this very well. In autonomic, it is further divided into two parts. One is the sympathetic and second one is the parasympathetic. In case of sympathetic and parasympathetic, we will take it one by one. In case of sympathetic, that means it is the action or we can say fight or flight. On the other hand, parasympathetic. Para means pair and pair ko chahi hota rest. So, P se pair and P se para. That means it is the state which involves the rest and digestion. The second point is in case of sympathetic, there is the increase in the BP and heart rate. On the other hand, the vice versa, there is the decrease in the BP and heart rate. On the other hand, in sympathetic, there is the increase in the BP and heart rate. This next point is, there is increase in the respiratory rate and cardiac output in case of sympathetic. In case of parasympathetic, there is increase in digestion. In case of sympathetic, the pupil dilates. But in case of parasympathetic, the pupil contracts. In case of sympathetic, there is the increase in the muscle strength. But in case of parasympathetic, there is the increase in the gastric mobility. In case of sympathetic, there is the breakdown of the glycogen in liver as a few. In case of parasympathetic, there is no breakdown of glycogen. On the other hand, there is the conservation of the energy which is produced by the digestion of the food. If we talked about the neurotransmitter, so in case of sympathetic path, the neurotransmitter is epinephrine, norepinephrine or dopamine. On the other hand, in parasympathetic, the neurotransmitter is acetylcholine. On the other hand, if we talked about the receptors in both the pathways, then the receptors in case of sympathetic pathway is adrenergic. And on the other hand, in case of parasympathetic, it involves the cholinergic. The last part is the agonist and antagonist. In case of sympathetic, the agonist is vasopressor and the bronchodilators. Vasopressor include dopamine, epinephrine and norepinephrine. On the other hand, bronch... The antagonist in case of sympathetic pathway is alpha blockers and beta blockers. On the other hand, the agonist is cholinergic and that include the acetylcholine. On the other hand, in case of parasympathetic, the one is the cholinergic which include acetylcholine and the antagonist in the parasympathetic pathway is anticholinergic which include scopolamine. So that's all about the effect of the drugs on the, our nervous system. Here is the picture of the flowchart which is 
showing you all the sum up of my video in one flow chart. This chart is very very important to understand which you read in second year of pharmacology a very very important topic to understand. Hope you like this video very well and if you like this video press the like button and even you can comment down in the video which you want on my channel. If you are new on my channel, please do subscribe and share my videos as much as you can. If you have any query, you can drop me the mail which is shown on your screen. You can also follow me on my Instagram with my Instagram ID shown on your screen. Thank you for watching.